Hey, it's me. I'm back again. Still the 13th of January. We're going to talk about two bills today uh, with this video because uh, they kind of attack the same problem, but by different methods. Uh, and the problem they're issue they're talking about is uh, cap and trade and on all that. But HR 97, Free Industry Act, as uh, introduced in the House by Miss Marsha Blackburn, I believe is her name. Very, very, very short bill. Uh, basically states in Section 2, Greenhouse Gas Regulation under the Clean Air Act, um, the term air pollutant shall not include carbon dioxide, water vapor, methane, nitrous oxide, hydrofluorocarbons, perfluorocarbons, or sulfur hexafluoride. And then Section 3 says, Climate change not regulated by the Clean Air Act. Nothing in the Clean Air Act shall be treated as authorizing or requiring the regulation of climate change or global warming. So that's one way to handle the EPA and some of their overbearing policies. But the other way to do it is H.R. 153. It's a little bit of a longer bill, but not too much. Uh, this is introduced by uh, Representative Poe of Texas, and it's also got quite a few sponsors. It's the Ensuring Affordable, Affordable Energy Act. And this is more pungently pointed out, Section 2, Prohibition of Funding for Cap-and-Trade Program or Other Greenhouse Gases. Prohibition, notwithstanding any other provision of law, no funds appropriate or otherwise available for the administrator of the EPA may be used to implement or enforce, one, a cap and trade program, two, any statutory regulatory requirement pertaining to emissions of one or more greenhouse gases from stationary sources that is issued or becomes applicable, blah, 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 blah. And then this says B definitions in this act. The term greenhouse gas includes with respect to cap and trade program under subsection A. And it goes through carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxide, sulfur hexafluoride, hydrofluorocarbon, perfluorocarbons, any other anthropogenic gas designated as a greenhouse gas or such cap and trade program or such requirement. So, two ways to. Uh, uh, shackle the EPA. One way is to just uh, remove the terms of definition as in HR 97. The other way is to not only do is to pretty much not only do the same thing, but also to defund any kind of project that the EPA would do that would utilize those definitions. So I, I think ultimately what's going to happen is they're going to get merged together, you know, but I, I'm doing them together as a video, and the links to both of those bills are below, and they're very short reads, and I'll leave it at that. Until next time. Oh, by the way, and I support a conglomerate of these, because um, I think both bills, I mean, how could you sit there and say water vapor is harmful to the environment? That's just retarded. Uh, so I... They'll go to committee, they'll get mixed and mashed together, and something a little bit better will come out. But just watch those. Peace, God bless you all, and God bless the Republic.